today I'm going to show you how to do Kitchener stitch, which is a method of joining live stitches that appear seamless in stockinette stitch. I'm going to be using a different color yarn to do the seaming, but if you want an invisible join, use the yarn tail from your project. Okay, so you're going to want a length of yarn that is about four or five times the length of the knitting that you're going to be joining. Um, about that long. So that's about how long you'll want to cut your tail. You're going to use a darning needle and you're going to thread your yarn through there. Now you want your live stitches facing each other. So I'm using double pointed needles here just to demonstrate. Um, so you want your stitches lined up like that. You're going to take your darning needle and on the bottom needle, you're going to go into this stitch as if you're purling. I'm going to pull the yarn through and leave a tail there. Then on the back needle, the top needle, you're going to go into that first stitch as if to knit. Okay, those are our two setup stitches. Now, you're going to go back to your front needle, go into the stitch as if to knit, and pull the stitch off the needle. Go into the second stitch as if to purl, and leave that stitch on the needle. You don't want to pull your yarn too tight while you're working this seam but you don't want to leave it too loose either. You want it to be about the same tension as the actual knitting. Okay, now we're gonna go back to your back needle. Go into this stitch as if to purl. And slide the stitch off the needle. And make sure your yarn doesn't cross over the needles like that. And then you're going to go into that second stitch as if to knit and leave it on the needle. And now you're just going to repeat that. So you're going to go into this stitch as if to knit, pull it off the needle, come into the second stitch as if to purl, leave it on the needle, go to the back, go in as if to purl, slip the stitch off the needle. Go in as if to knit, leave the stitch on the needle. And you're just going to do that all the way across until you get to the last two stitches. Okay, so now we're at the last two stitches on the needles. You're going to go into that first one as if to knit, into the second one as if to purl and leave it on the needle, into the back one as if to purl, slip it off, into the last one as if to knit, leave it on. And then for the last two stitches, you're simply going to follow the same um, process, but you won't have another stitch behind it to process as well. So you'll just go in as if to knit, slip it off the needle, go in as if to purl, slip it off the needle, and there you go. That is Kitchener Stitch. And as you can see, 
Of course, you can see my seam because I used a different color of yarn. But if you were to use the same color yarn, um, this seam would just look like another row of stockinette stitch in between. And so you can see I kind of tightened it a little too much over on this end. That's okay. You can just take your needle, since you still have a good length of yarn, and you can just kind of stretch the stitches out a little bit, loosen up that tension there um, so that you don't have a super tight seam. There you have it, Kitchener Stitch.